a purpose and a plan for your life, you may not you may not able to see that vision now because you don't have an intimate relationship with God. But I guarantee if you get on your hands and knees and repent and turn to God, he has a vision. He has a plan. He has a purpose for you. Your purpose is, a, is to love one another. Christ said that he didn't come for the sinner. He came. He came. He didn't come for the, uh, the righteous. He came for the sinner. He didn't. He didn't. When he came, he came humbly to this earth. He also didn't. What am I looking? What, what verse am I looking for? He he came humbly, but he also, when you rethink about his life, when he lived and died, he gained eternal life because he knew where he was going. He knew where he was going. He knew where he was going in the end. So that purpose, that plan that God has for you, that destiny, that destination, God has that in store for you, and it is heaven. The Bible says, "Love one another, forgive one another," as Christ. Jesus has forgiven you. What I was trying to say a minute ago, it came just came back to me. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will bring it to your remembrance. That Christ came to serve, not to be served. So you need to serve other people. You need to love on one another as Christ loved the church. He loved us. He gave a sacrifice for us up on that cross. So you guys, if you guys need to run back to the Father, run back to the Father right now. We ain't got much time. We don't know when our last breath is. We don't know when our life is going to end, what, when it's going to end. So you guys run back to the Father. Remember, spend time with the Holy Spirit. Spend time with God because today can be our last. Tomorrow can be our last. Two weeks can be our last. We don't know. The Bible says life is nothing but a vapor. Like I said, you were born on purpose, for a purpose, and the Bible says, for a time as this, you're a royal priesthood for a time as this. It, the Bible says in the book of Luke, you have the power to stomp on snakes and scorpions. Stop sitting in the sideline. You say you're a Christian. You say you're a Christ follower, but you're sitting in the sidelines, rooting for other people. It's time to get in the battlefield. There's children out here in the battlefield. But us as grown men, we should be leaders. We should be teaching, leading. The Bible says... That the Holy Spirit will lead you into all truth. It also says that it's profitable for doctrine, for training, and training in righteousness. So we got to remember that there's only one true, true doctrine. And that's the doctrine of Jesus Christ. How he bore our sins and our infirmities and our uh, filthiness on the cross. He did that for us. Stop running back to the field like a dog that returns back to his vomit. Run to Jesus, run to the altar, run to the throne. God has a purpose. Somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs to hear this. You need to hear this. Remember, you were born on purpose for a purpose. So remember, pick up your cross. Jesus said this, pick up your cross and die to, uh, pick up your cross and die to your flesh daily. It's a daily thing. Remember, you're born on purpose, for a purpose, for such as such as a time as this. My bad. For time uh, as a time as this. Can't even talk right now. But doesn't matter. There's a message. It was a cross. I got it to a cro uh, cross to you guys. You guys have a purpose. You guys really have a purpose. You're sitting there by yourself, thinking your thoughts, running wild. Turn to Jesus. Go in the room. The Bible says, close the door behind you. Speak to your father, which is in private. Speak to your heavenly father. Run to him. Remember, you can't earn salvation. In Ephesians 2, 8, it says it is a free gift of God. Grace through faith is a free gift of God. It's by grace only. It's by the grace of God. It's by the grace of of what he did up on the cross, the crucifixion up on the cross for us as sinners. This one I encourage you guys, prodigal son, run back to him. If you gotta shake everything off, you gotta throw everything off, you gotta throw your phone, you gotta throw everything that's hindering you from getting close to God, do it. God bless you guys. I just wanna give you that word of encouragement right now in Jesus' name. You guys have a blessed one. Jesus' name. God bless you guys.